This is a phone running Android 12 and it has been rooted under 5 minutes. This is Mi 11X which is running Android 12. I'm going to show you how you can root this phone in 5 minutes. Without wasting any time, let's start the video. First things first, let me show you what all things you would be needing in order to start up with this procedure. First, you need a phone which is running Android 12. Right here in front of you, you can see version is Android 12 with the model number of Mi 11X and the phone is not rooted. Second thing that you need is a PC to flash a custom recovery. If your phone already has a custom recovery, well and good. If you don't know how to flash a custom recovery or what this thing is, I've made a dedicated video about it. I'll leave the link of that in the iCard. Click on that, watch that video, install a custom recovery on your phone, come back to this video and start from here. Step 3. Head to Magisk's official website and download the latest package which is version 24.1. I'll leave the link in the description as well for directly downloading the zip file if you guys don't really know how to download it. Can be complex sometimes. Once you have downloaded that on your phone or if you prefer to download it on a pen drive which has a USB connection so you can connect it to your phone later on, make sure you do that. Next thing that you need is now to turn your phone into recovery. For that, I need to press the phone's power button until the power off or reboot menu comes in and I'll restart the phone. And once the phone is restarting, I'll press the power up button here so that the phone boots up in the recovery mode. For my phone specifically, this button combination is volume up and power when the phone is shut down. For you, it might be different. So you need to Google it up on the internet, how to turn your phone to the custom recovery or how to turn your phone into recovery mode. Once you have rebooted your phone into the recovery mode, what you need to do is quickly go to the place where that file is present, where, which you have downloaded from the official website of Magisk, which is a zip file. You can either flash a zip file or you can either flash the APK directly, but I prefer flashing zip file, which is the latest version 24.1. Click on this, swipe to install, and all you need to do is just wait until this process is completed. Make sure you have this custom recovery. This will not work if you don't have a custom recovery installed on your phone. But if you do have it, then at this point it will say successful and you can restart your system. Once your phone has already restarted, unlock it and you will be seeing this Magisk app sort of like this installed. Tap on it. It will ask you to upgrade to the full version. Click on OK. Make sure you have the internet access and it will be starting to install. I'm going to install it quickly and it's going to install itself. Once installed, the icon will change to this. Click on this and you will see that this will ask you for additional setup. So if you click on OK, it's going to restart your phone once. The interesting thing to note here is that the installed version is 24.1. It's going to restart now. Your phone will restart just fine. But if in case you think that your phone has already been in a boot loop, don't worry. In the description, you can see an uninstalled Magisk zip file. Download that and flash that from TWRP recovery and the Magisk will be removed from the phone and your phone will come back to the normal state as it was earlier. But right now, my phone has already restarted. This time, you will see that the Magisk icon is already there on the phone. So it's this one. And once I click on this, you can see that the installed version is 24.1. This installed version is very much required and this is the only thing that will tell you that the phone already has Magisk installed now. Once you have this, I can go back to root checker to see if my phone is rooted. Once you click on verify, if you get something like this, press on grant. And now you can see that the phone is successfully rooted. This is a phone running Android 12 and it has been rooted under 5 minutes. And with that, we have rooted this phone running Android 12 under 5 minutes. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you click on that like button that encourages me to make more. If you have any questions or if you're stuck somewhere, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to be making sure that your phone ends up rooted after you watch this video. If you want to stick to the channel, click on subscribe because I'm going to show you a detailed video on how to configure Magis 24.1. There are a lot of interesting new things in it and I think you should know it before you actually start to fully utilize the potential of it. And I'll be catching you guys later on with another video. Until then, take care.